welcome to the Ask Sue Show. Hope everybody's all okay. Well, do you know what? The days seem to go flying by, and here we are on Tuesday yet again. I uh, hope everybody's having a good, had a good weekend and all refreshed for a lovely new week. Uh, what's everybody up to? We've got the chat room open. Come and join us in the chat room. Got to say hello to Debs, uh, to Jennifer, and to Texas Pearl, all in the chat room. Hi, hope you're all okay. Uh, thank you very much to everybody who's already emailed into Show at gmail.com. You will be coming first onto the show for your free psychic question into Janet. Just a quick rundown, if anybody wants to join the ASU Radio Show page so you get updates of what's going on with radio shows, uh, you can go to Facebook dot com forward slash ask sue radio show and also we've got the group as well ask sue show group and um, take a look at that and also the website which has got everything on there which is asu.co.uk so by all means join us i've got one of them clicky nights i've got me my, my pens i don't keep clicking tonight for some reason so i don't know what's going on there uh literally we have got some people already waiting on the lines obviously to have some readings so if you haven't already emailed in, we don't get you to you tonight. We will get you in for tomorrow night. So email asusho at gmail.com in plenty of an advance. So with no further ado, let's get Janet on the show. Hi, Janet. How are you doing? Hi, my dear. I woke up today, so that's a start. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing okay. How about yourself? Oh, you know, busy, busy. Are you doing I can't believe we're... Everything? It, it just seems to be go so quite fast, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It does the indeed. It so what you been up to? The, the, the younger I get. <laughs> <laughs> so what you been up to? Well, I did some readings today over in my favorite little place, the Kitten Gadoodle uh, Coffee Cafe, and they had um, a beautiful young lady from uh, ABC News. She was doing an interview. I stayed out of it. I let Jen do the whole thing because, you know, she knows how to promote her own place. And it was nice. The young lady was there for probably about two hours. I wanted to give her a reading, but I knew I had to come back and do this show tonight. So, But the funny thing is, she gave me her card, and she's already my friend on Facebook. And I went, wait a minute, that name's familiar. So, you know, uh, she's doing a lot of stuff out here in Long Island, which is great. Anything that's unique. So she found it on one of the, you know, one of the pages or one of the shares. And a uh, sweet young lady. And it was, she's very very thorough. That's what I liked about her. So I don't oh, know when it will be on, but it will be on, uh, you know, one of the major uh, uh, stations here. So, you know, right, ABC, excellent. Channel 7. So I thought it was Channel 2, and I'm like, no, 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 it's Channel 7. You know, too many stations. Too many stations. <laughs> So, so I'm happy for her, and I told her I would love to bring her on the show one day to do an interview with her. So you yes, never definitely. know. You know, definitely. she does a lot of the major stars, and you know, you know, well, we got a lot of things planned. So it's all good, you know. And I can't wait till we get the show with Marcos. That's going to be a fun show. You yeah, know, definitely. You know, yep. so he's a good yes, guy. You'll, you'll enjoy him. You know. Yeah. So lots of good things happening. Um, I'm doing a an event on Thursday night. Um, a new place that I've got, a little wine place local to me, um, called the what the heck's the name of it? Let me see. The, right. Yeah. The, the vintage. It's the vintage Bino and Bino Lounge, and I'm going. They're going to be doing a wine tasting with four different wines and the food that goes with it, and then I'll. Be be doing a group event there and then on September 8th we've already booked a psychic fair there with myself and I think I have like five of my other readers my healers and my readers so it should be fun it's going to be good oh excellent I used to run the fairs you know I used to and these are all people that I've worked with over 20 15 20 years so I said you know we've been quiet long enough you know let's get back on track so it's all good yeah. So, and don't you, it, that sometimes happens, doesn't it? It can be that you're so busy, you actually forget where your footings are. Oh, my God, you don't even want to know, honey. I, I wake up and say, what day is it now? Or where am I? <laughs> <laughs> That's the scary part when I say, where am I, without even having a glass of wine. That's the real hard part. And then I wake up alone, so what the hell? What good is that? <laughs> With all the cats all over me, I'm like, oh, shoot, oh, well. Oh, ah, I, it is what it I is. Know. I know all about that one, I can tell you. Definitely. 
Definitely. I have to li- I have to punish them, and right now one of them is in the bedroom because every time I put the laptop on, you know, she thinks she owns it, you know, and you know. So I said, look, in the bedroom, so they know when I do the show with you that I got to put them in the bedroom because you know. It's hey, bad. can I just can I just say though they're not going to like me very much if you're banishing them to the room. Oh, honey, that it, they deserve a break. I deserve a break. You don't even want to know. I'll get online and I'll start writing. And how many times I have to redo it because they're all, you know they they're putting their own little paw prints on it. They're funny though. Yeah, exactly. I love my babies. I love my babies. You know. Exactly. So how awesome. have you been? How have you? What have you been doing? Any little trips away oh, or just, just relaxing? Just really hopefully? think. I'm actually I'm, I'm on a bit of a funny one this week. I've actually got a depression show tomorrow night. Um, I've actually got people calling the show who've struggled with depression, who yeah. are who are maybe struggling with depression at the moment, or they've come through the other side. I want to talk about how they can help themselves to get to the better place. Very important. Okay. Very um, important. Also, I'm doing. Um, hopefully, if anybody's wanting to speak, you know, maybe they've tried to commit suicide. Maybe oh even the ones that are thinking about it, you know. Yeah, maybe, yeah. And yeah also there's no reason the for that. Fa- yeah. The families that are left behind as well. There's a yeah, lot of depression oh, is caused by the fact that um, somebody's committed suicide in the family, and you've got the depression that comes after that as well. So I, I'm trying to get everybody under one umbrella, which is very difficult. It yeah. might be that we'll do follow-up shows after this, because I think it's oh, that'd a, be great. you know, a lot are going to um, catch up with sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And then well, you know, the thing be- is, there's so much help out there. Today I did a reading for a young lady, and she's becoming a counselor for drug and alcohol counseling. And she said, Janet, you don't even want to know how bad it is out there. And I said, you know, when I was a letter carrier, prior to me retiring, I went and took a course for that, for, you know, to, to be a drug and alcohol counselor. And, you know, it was very disappointing because they say only 3% get it. That was then. That was 30 years back. I'm hoping more people get it now because uh, it's such a, nobody should go to those depths. You know, I mean, life is beautiful. Yep. It, it, you know, it, and you know, every day is a new beginning. Like, like I say, every day when I wake up, I say I'm blessed. I made another day. My age, any another minute's a blessing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, but, but sad. It's very sad. A lot of sadness out there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So, definitely. So that's great. But that's you, great. And do you know what? I've got. To, I'm not going to mention no names because she's going to be coming on to the show. But. Okay. There is one young lass who's going to be coming on the show. We're going to be having an hour show. And this lass actually was, I'd actually met her. And she was on drugs at the time. Okay. And I didn't realize she was at drugs. And I met her. And I will tell you right now, and I know she's going to listen to the show. So I'm not going to say no names at the moment. No, no, no. But she was a mess. She was a total mess. Right? Sure. I didn't recognize her. The person that I'd spoken to on the phone and had dealt with wasn't the person that I was actually meeting, okay? Yeah. And it was yeah. quite a, a shock. I even spoke to her mum after, and her mum said to me, she went, Sue, I wanted her to come to yours because I knew you were the person that was going to sort her out and wake her up. Okay, well, fair enough. Yeah. So I that's literally, cute. well, to be fair, did that, but I didn't speak to her for a bit. And do you know what? I'm not joking now. This girl actually has got herself sorted. She, her Good. and her boyfriend actually went and lived in the woods with tents and got themselves really? off drugs themselves. Good for them. And now they're running their own business. Well, see, sometimes they say you have to hit bottom to, to you know, the cream goes to the top. But sometimes you have to hit bottom to grow because you have to I call it uncluttering and that's a nice way of saying stepping away from situations you know yep. hey we all we, we all could have been there none of us have an easy path I mean I Absolutely. think most, most healers you know when we know the, the actual story of what we've gone through you know we look at it like oh my god how did I, how did I get through that well you get through it you know if you have the will to live you know and, and yep. there's so much good when you do the right thing and you, sometimes you have to change the people you're around. Sometimes you have to change your job. Sometimes you have to physically move out of the area. You know, I yep. talked to a lady today, and you know, she she was a former uh, drug addict, a different lady, and she said, you know, I had to step away from my friends. And I'm like, well, you know, because they don't realize they're in pain, and it's almost like, I guess, like a codependent. You know, well, you, well I'm in pain, so I'm going to bring you in the same pain. And no one deserves yep. that, you know. So, but no. but I think if people stay together, you know, and help and pat each other on the back and be there, that's the key to success. Yeah. To know you well, love. Do you know what? I am know? so proud of this lass. She is so 
honestly, Great. she's... It's like the old person I once knew is back again, and she is... I am really glad That's to say her. she's my friend. Well, she, I know she's she going to She needed to find herself. That was the yeah. whole thing. Do you know what? Honestly, herself, I am so proud of her. She is but, absolutely mm. amazing. She's doing well, so, so well. And I know that there's people up there watching over and so proud of her. And do you know what? Her, her issues were brought on by the fact of Lou's. She lost um, family. She lost yep. her dog. And various uh, things happened. And, and yeah. let's face it, our dogs are our family. You know what I mean? Of course, and, help, please. Of course. And, and do you know what? And she's literally turned her life around. So all those people are listening tonight. They're on yep. drugs that say they can't get off it or whatever. As my mm. nan used to always say, can't means can't means won't. Yep, yep. And they they have to have the will, you know. And and you know, I you know how we love our animals. And sometimes they, I, I was when I was a kid, you'd never know it now, but I was very shy, and I was I very connected with my animals. And you know, there were days that I I really had no friends at a young age because I was so shy. Yep. But my animals were my friends, you know. So even if you have to get a little, a, even a bird, a fish, a, you know, a puppy, a kitten, just to feel connected because that's un unconditional love total unconditional love yep i was actually talking to somebody the other day actually about we're actually talking about religion and oh, okay. and i went and i said right let me just say and i say this to everybody right mm-hmm. i don't knock anybody's religion whatever they either. believe in That's whether no it's idea. god whether it's a brethren's whether they whatever they are whatever whoever they are whatever they believe in yes. that doesn't worry me in the slightest I would say no, to everybody, I though, as I long as everybody's everyone. got a belief and they believe exactly. at least in themselves, none of us can knock anybody else's religion. The reason uh, being is should. none of us can prove, none of us can prove that a religion is right and none of us can prove that a religion is wrong. Or, we, or whose religion is better than the other. There's only one God. That's the way I look at it. We may have different thoughts on, you know, practices. I mean, there's so many out there, but... Ultimately, there's one God. That's the way I look at it. That's the way mm. I look at it. You know? Yes. So, but but, it's all good. But, Jeremy, some people don't think that there's a God. Some people... Uh, but it doesn't ma- doesn't concern me in the slightest. I'm not bothered what people believe in. Yeah. As long as no, they're sharing no, I mean, love around the world and they're helping each other, I'm not really exactly. interested in what's what. Do you know what I mean? That's the key. That's the key. You know, be there. Lift, you know, they had a thing on TV yesterday, and, and it, it touches my heart. The, um, in, in Manhattan, which, you know, there's so many sad people there hanging out, sleeping on the ground and whatever, you know. And there was a guy that was jogging, and there was a homeless gentleman with no shirt and no shoes and socks. The guy took his shirt off, his shoes and his socks, and gave it to to the homeless man. So, you know, there are good yep. people there. Because yep. God forbid it could be one of us. You know? Exactly. That's the way you go. Exactly. It could be one yep. of us. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So it's but, you know, it, it is what it is. Mm. Definitely. So, Definitely. As long as I keep waking up every day, I'm a happy soul. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. But and as, 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 long, as, days, get, get, as long as I get one or two naps a week, I'm happy too. <laughs> Very rarely. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Right, good. let's, so. um, all right, first of all, somebody who can't call in has actually sent me, a minute, now it's, her name's called Debs, and her date of birth is 30th of the 9th. The 30th? So, uh, yep, 30th of the 9th. Yeah, of the so ninth you, no, hold on a minute, in your way, it's 9th for the 30th, isn't it? All right, so that would be <laughs> September 30th. That's right, yeah. Okay, and, and her and name her is And the question Deb? is, at yes. Deb's, yeah. And her question is, how is my mum, and and will I make it? How her mum's is passed. her mom? Okay, I'm writing this down. And will she make it? Okay, where is she calling from? What state? Uh, she's or... calling from the UK. Oh, great. Okay. But All I, right. She can't, unfortunately can't call in, so I said I'll take her date of birth. And... Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. All right, first thing, her mother is extremely proud of her. Um, oh, I got chills on that one. I'm getting the thumbs up from her mom, okay? Um, when I connect with her mother, for some reason I'm seeing, it's almost like her face glows. Like, in other words, she's got a beautiful, beautiful uh, rosy cheeks. Um, very intense eyes, very um, deep, deep, deep energy. In other words, 
I don't want to say she was strict as a child, as a, you know, when she when she was here, but I want to say she was very, um, uh, like no, like like in other words, unfiltered. She said what she yep. said, and she is letting me know that she will make anything she wants to. She is like she's got her back from heaven. She's got a lot of angels around her as well. So yes. that's what I'm. That's what I'm being shown. I, does she have a child? Does she have a daughter? Yes, she does. Yeah. Okay. How old is the daughter? Because because mom is is uh, protecting this child quite a lot. How old is the daughter? And what's the birthday? Oh, I'm gonna say she's. I think, I think she's twenty something. Okay. She'll message me in a minute and confirm what date, what age. But okay, okay. Because um, her. I, what I keep, I don't know how long ago her mom left, but her mom's, you know, you know the sign that they want to be reincarnated, I don't know if you ever saw my cousin Vinny, but there was a movie here in New York many, many years back where I forgot the name of the actress, but her time clock was, was you know, uh, uh, ticking away. She wanted to have a baby. And when they come back to me, what they do basically is, you know, when they want to come back, I get that 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 tapping on the, on the foot, like you know, like I'm anxious, I'm anxious, I'm anxious. So, I would definitely say that the daughter. Uh, first of all, we pick our parents, number one. So, I if, if this young lady is with someone and her mom, her who is the daughter's grandma, okay. Yep. Um, if she likes the person that this young girl is in, is with. She would want her to her to be the mom. In other words, her granddaughter would be the mother. They do that a lot. My my uh, grandson, my husband is my great grandson, my great granddaughter. Yep. You know, but okay. she's very proud of her. She keeps telling me, keep smiling, no matter what's going on. And she's yep. talking about something about a hat. I don't know what the hell a hat is. It's almost <laughs> like a straw hat, if that means anything, okay? It's almost yep. like, you know, here they call a hoedown, which would be like um, uh, what is it, like a square dancing place or something. Okay. Right, okay. And, and, and she keeps telling me it's time for her to have fun. Yep. So I yep. don't know what this means. There is some sort of music or song that 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 follows her. She's got a lot of angels around her, and 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 her and her mother is quite happy with her, quite happy. Excellent. Excellent. And 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 the mom wants to definitely come back, but she's saying I'm going to give it three to five years. She said she said I'd like to come back sooner, but you guys have to get everything in order before I come back. Yeah. So, yep. and she's very protective of her plus the daughter. So that's yep. what I'm being shown. So I that hope she enjoys the, the reading. Yes, and mom, she will. mom's she got her back. She's got a lot of angels over there. Excellent. So, Excellent. It's all good. Uh, it's all good. If I know Deb, she'll be in tears now listening. Aww, and t- t- okay. Come on, Deb, get yourself together. Uh, and mum was uh, absolutely lovely. She was lovely. Aww, really nice. nice. Did she so, like? Did she like to dance the mother because she keeps showing me this this square dancing and I you know he what they call it here is queer dancing, you know right. it's like old country dancing. This right. Is, this is you know this is what I keep feeling around her. Right. Okay. So, I'll, I'll I'll wait until she messages. She hasn't messaged okay, me back great. yet. So, unless she's into it. Right now I've got some in the chat room. Uh, okay. Called Texas Pearl. She okay. was born on the twenty seventh of October. Okay, so she's a Scorpio. Yeah, um, and she now, put, we're, we're, Oh, she's her, I guess she's from Texas, correct? Did yes. Say, oh, Pearl, okay. her name is, from Texas. Pearl. And okay. she says, does my mum have a message for me? <sighs> who who oh, is having mum's, trouble? It's, it's right. mum night tonight, isn't it? Well, that's okay. Who Who is having trouble with her with their teeth or their mouth? Because my mouth is hurting, and I don't know if this means that she's got to go get something done with her teeth. It's almost like I feel like I'm uh, like my like I'm having issues with my mouth. Right. Okay. Unless unless her mom was um, um, intubated at the end and she couldn't speak. But right. Getting, okay. But I'm getting the, I'm getting something with the mouth. I don't know what it means. Maybe maybe right. she's getting you know, uh, uh, dental work done, but there's something with the mouth. The mother is saying it's going to be okay. 
Okay. The mom, I like the mom. The mom sends right. a lot of roses. Just to, just to yeah. interrupt, she said, I'm going to the dentist, and so is my daughter. Oh, my God. You're giving me chills. <laughs> yep. You're giving me chills. See, 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 we can't make this stuff up. I mean, it just is amazing. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, How old is her uh, daughter? And, hold on. And her mum couldn't speak at the end. All right, so that's why I'm seeing where she, yeah, she was like, I don't know if she was intubated or she just, you know, you know, spoke yeah. very, very softly, okay? Um, her mother has a great laugh, I will tell you that. She was a fun lady. She, It's almost like when she walked in the room, everybody noticed her, whether they wanted to or not. It's comical, you know? Yeah. Um, her mother is very proud of her. She, she is letting me know that she's a good mom. And then, of course, she's saying, you know, I don't want to say it, but you're a better mom than I was. Aw, that's so sweet. Oh, bless. Bless. That's so sweet, you know. Ask her how old is her daughter. Yep. You she's, know, the message, she's, she's listening, but literally messaging me, so it takes a minute. Because actually, when people, you, we actually talk, the people okay. in the chat room don't hear it for about, I would say, about 30 seconds. They're I always a little bit better. She's yeah. put, um, yes, mum had a great laugh and was known for it. Her daughter was 20 year old. Is 20 year old. Okay, but what's her birthday? Oh, don't know. But um, she'll tell you now. Give me one that second. Tune, that tunes me right in. That tunes me right in to them when I get to her. I don't know why, but it just does. It's weird. I don't know the year, just the day, and month. It's crazy, you know. But but this lady has gone through her own stuff. She is a Scorpio, so she had to kind of come to come to um, uh, you know decide what she wanted to do with her life. She right, Thir- 30th of March is the daughter. All right, so then that's 3.30, well, it's 30, that's funny, the other one was 9.30. So uh, she is, I think she's a Piscean, I'm not sure, is she an Aries or a Piscean? Um, I don't know. No, I think she's a Piscean, I think she, I think so, or an Aries. She's, she's one or the other, okay? All right, basically... Um, I lo- I feel like this one needs to go back to school, okay? She's she's definitely a healer, okay, or a helper, okay? I like her energy. Um, she's a very big flirt, though, I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> she says that apparently she's got three daughters. Okay, well, the one whoever is the three yep. third. Okay? Yep, yep. All right. So, um, yeah, so mom is quite happy with her, and uh, she's there. She keeps saying she's a good mom, so that's nice to hear. Yeah. Nice yeah. nice to hear. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Good. Oh, that is good. Yes. Well, thanks very much, um, Texas Pearl, or should say Pearl, um, in chat room, and Debs. I hope yes. you're both good. Um, do you know what? I love it when we have the chat room, because you have a bit of banter in the chat room then as well, and it's quite good, so... Good. Yeah, so if you want to go in the chat room, you can go to blogtalkradio.com forward slash ask dash sue, and then you literally can go in, but you have to follow and sign into Blog Talk Radio to do so. So, yeah. um, so that's brilliant. Um, just a quick thing, Debs, I know you've missed it because your laptop's died. Don't worry, me and Janet have oh, this problem all the time. But don't worry, um, you'll be able to listen to it after the show anyway. Okay, yeah. Bless her. I bet she's going absolutely mad now, to be fair. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, she'll get it. She'll, she'll go online, she'll get it. Yeah. You know. um, are, is per, Pearl's just asked me, what's the dentist message, or is there one for me or her? Do you know what, Pearl? I think by the sounds of it, it was due to the fact that your mum wasn't able to speak at the end. Yeah, and then she ba- basically she showed me the mouth. There was something with the mouth. So, I, you know, I picked up the teeth, but I also picked up where she couldn't speak towards the end. Yeah. But yeah. She, 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 I hate dentists, believe me. Oh, that's, the worst, that's worse than them, the baby. Oh, no. I had four of them. My, but, yep. but the thing is... My worst phobia is, is dentists, definitely. I hate them, and i got to go. But the thing is... Um, uh, yeah, it's all good. Uh, she's not saying anything negative about. The, I guess. I guess she just wanted to show me the mouth where she couldn't speak. You know, they show me yeah. certain signs. You know, yep. that's you know yep. that, that's what they do. So it's but it's all good. It's all good. Yep. You know. Yep. No issues at all. So. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Good. Thanks for messaging, Pearl. That's really good. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. So, oh, uh, that was pretty good. Uh, do you know what? Let's. I'm um, tell you what. Let's have a quick look, right? I'm just going to write. I'll just move everything off my table. Let me just do a little thing 
to see where everybody's from today. Okay. okay. So we've had one from UK, one from Texas. Let's see how far we're going to get. Right, so, we're so all shall we... place. Oh, <laughs> I am. I don't know about you. How old are you? Pearl said thank you very much, ladies. Oh, well, tell her thank you for calling in. Thank you for being part of our show. That's great. We appreciate yep. everybody that contacts us. Exactly. You know. Right, yeah. Debs has put, right, Janet, going to ask a biggie here. Right, okay. Uh-oh. Look out. No, I have Come no money, Debs. so this is a loser. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't win lottery yet. Hey, listen, if anybody's going to adopt you, it's me. Never mind anybody else. <laughs> oh, um, I'm sure we'll have plenty of them. <laughs> right, she's put, how he, is her daughter's future looking? What's the daughter's birthday? What's your daughter's birthday, Debs? I ate this, like, few seconds thing. I know. Well, this is what happens, you know. Yeah. This way they can take all the curse words out, you know. (laughs) (laughs) That's what they do up here. They'll be doing it for a while with me, then. (laughs) (laughs) They have, like, a 30-second thing, you know, in case a a bleep, beep, beep, you know, you know, up here. Yep, yep. Right, so um, 13th of November... 13th of November, so she's a Scorpio, okay, and when I see the 13th, to me, I have the numbers 3 and 1 to me equals home, okay, um, and how old is she, the girl? Uh, oh, my word, uh, 92, come on, Debs, help me out here, 92, 2002. Uh, yeah, give us an age. Uh, <laughs> 27. Oh, okay, all right, all right, so, well, um, Oh, no, we're 26, but 27, yep. All right, well, that's okay. Yeah, she'll be, okay. I do feel like the last few years she had to find herself, okay, which is, you know, she's a Scorpio, so Scorpios, you know, sometimes they tend to get a little lost, you know. I like her energy. Um, I do feel if she's not in in love, she will be in love very soon, okay. She's in love already. She's in love already. Okay. Yeah. Um, is, is she ready for marriage? Because I do see children. I, I see somebody on the other side with their foot tapping. Yeah, this, this is, is what Debs. I'm being you remember the You remember the Debs, the one with the mum, who you said about the baby coming back through? That, this is Debs. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So, okay. yeah, okay. that okay. sounds right. And, yes, yeah, okay. there is. Yep. Yeah, that's all right. true. Yep. Yeah. So if she's with someone that the mother, that her mom accepts and feels comfortable for her to be the daddy, then she will she will be pregnant. But I see, but I see more than one kid. So I don't know if there's twins in the family, or or maybe oh I get chills on that one, or maybe there's going to be two pregnancies at the same time. Okay. Two Daughters, that's what I'm being shown. Because I'm definitely seeing um, uh, cousins, but I'm feeling like within a week of each other, they're going to be born. So I don't know if right. you know, if, if her daughters are getting married at the same time or just happen to be getting pregnant at the same time. Yep. Okay? Right. That's she what I'm being that, shown. That Abby, her daughter, is a twin. Oh, really? Interesting. Yep. Yeah. And she's actually getting married. Now, let, I'm going to get shot for this because she's actually told me. I okay. think it's May next year. Oh, okay. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Well, mm-hmm. she, she, I would say she better get married soon because whoever's coming back wants the ring on the finger. There's no, no having babies out of wedlock. They would stand for that. Okay? Right. So okay. This, is what, this is what I'm being shown. Okay, so there might be an early wedding, but they could always celebrate later. Either that, <laughs> or or stay safe. Yeah, or, yeah. Or stay or stay safe. That that that's what I'm being shown. That's what okay. I'm being shown. But okay, um, so yeah, Deb, she's going to be I'm, an I'm nanny. <laughs> yes, she is. Twice over. So right. Okay. I, I don't know if her two two of her children are going to have pregnant get pregnant. At almost at the same time or within six months of each other. This is what I'm being shown. She, there's a lot of ba- there's a lot of people over there that want to come back. They want to come back and party. They're, they're like, I'm bored. I want to come back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's I what I'm being shown. Right. It's all good, though. It's all, I mean, you know, they're going to be healthy babies, so I'm not even questioning it. But it's all good. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Tell, I can tell, ma- tell her to rest up because you're going to be changing a lot of diapers. 
<laughs> it, well, she wouldn't mind. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So it's good. Oh, excellent. Nice. Excellent. Now, this, this right. young lady, now this is a lady in, in UK? In the UK? That's right, yep. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Well, I wish her the best. So, yep. you know, save all your pennies and go go to the yard sales and get a whole bunch of uh, baby clothes because you're going to need them. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, nice. Yep. nice. Get sorted. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Right. Shall nice. we go to the phone lines then? Definitely. Of course. Um, let's just say a quick hello to Eileen Jean as well. Um, she's just joined the chat room and oh, God nice. Love Three as well. Hi to both of you. Right, um, let's go to the phone lines. We've got Penny sure. on 920. Hi, Penny, how are you doing? Hello, ladies, I'm doing well. How are you guys? Hi, Penny, okay. you've called okay, before, you. I believe, correct? What's that? Penny, you've called before, I believe, haven't you? I don't think I have. I think this oh, is okay, because I... Guys. I think we had one lady, oh, maybe it was a while ago. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Where are you calling call <laughs> from, Penny? Wisconsin. What, Wisconsin. Oh, the cheese place. Yeah. I always say, I love yeah. cheese, so I always say that. Okay. What's your birthday, uh, Penny? 9182. 9-1. Okay. And what's your question? I am wondering, I have two job interviews tomorrow, wondering if ah. you pick up anything on this or if there's any other messages you get. Okay, um, well, I, I'm happy for the job interviews. I like them. I feel, to be honest with you, I feel like they're both going to want to want to hire you. Okay, um, and um, what I would suggest, okay, is, you know, tell them that you, uh, this is what you do. You just tell them you you have a couple of other interviews, and you and you know, and you promise you would go to them. So the bottom line is, you're not telling them no. But you're making your own decisions instead of making like a fast, you know, decision. Okay. So I would just say, look, I have another appointment, you know, in two days because I feel like I don't know. I'm I'm seeing three opportunities. This is what I'm seeing. Okay. Um, again, sometimes less is more, which means you may have one that may uh, blow you out out of the you know out out, out, out of the 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 the, the the lake with what they want to offer you, but the work would be so tedious and so it would be like doing three jobs at once. So I would say take the one with the security, okay? Take the one where you know that after a certain amount of time, like if it's every six months or nine months, that you're going to get a, a constant raise where you're not, you're not going to have to beg them. What, what field, are you in the healing or the health field? Because I pick up that around you a lot. Yes, what, what I'm in the medical work? field. Oh, all right, okay. Um, and I do feel whatever you're doing, I do see opportunity for advancement. I don't know if you're going to go to a hospital. I, I see you like a new building, so I don't know if it's a new hospital or if it's a new facility. But what I'm also feeling is I see you maybe working with two doctors. So... You know, okay. like may, maybe they're partners, but I, I'm very comfortable with it. I I feel like they're going to be very – you're going to have three opportunities, and then you have to make your decision. So that's nice to have three opportunities to say, hey, which one do I want? But when I say yeah. less is more, if the one that's going to offer you mega money a lot more than the other ones, you're going to be paying through the nose. It means you're going to be doing three times the amount of work. They're not just going to say, hey, here's X amount of dollars per hour or, you know, or per week. They're going to make you sweat blood and, te- you know, blood and tears for it. So so think about it. And okay. let us know. Okay. I, yeah. I'm just really on the fence about it. Do I stay with the same company that I've been with for 18 years? Um, because I feel like I wouldn't lose all my benefits, but this other one that I'm looking at would be – New company and starting over and yeah, I don't know, but the company- well, well, you know, again, it's your it's your choice. You know, you have to make your own decision. I can't make a decision for you. That's not you know, that's not where it is. If right. you feel safe and you feel comfortable with it, but see, I see you moving up quite quite a lot. So you know, and yeah. I feel even though you're with, where you are for 18 years, sometimes it's nice to start off fresh because I'm feeling very safe with this one. You know. Okay. So, but check it out. Of course, you know you have to make your own decisions. 
you know. But I do <laughs> see two doctors, or you know, or, or, or you know, two or two uh, people uh, connected with the the job. In other words, it's going to be two medical doctors you're going to be working with. You might be working in one town and then another town. Because I'm seeing two offices. Okay. All right, okay. my dear. Let us know. All righty. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Penny. Okay. Bye, bye, honey. That was well, okay. That's really good. Yeah, well, sometimes you just feel what you feel, you know. Yeah. So, but it's all good. I, you know, I, 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 you know, it's like I say. Sometimes, you know, more is less because they, they may offer an exorbitant amount an hour, but she's going to be working three times as hard. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know. Oh, you yep. know, I'm going into this job and I'm going to make all this money, but you know, you're going to be working all that money too. You know. So sometimes that's yep. why you have to look at. You have to sometimes look at. The big situation instead of just the you know the main one. You know, that sounds yeah. like that sounds like me speaking as an old lady now. <laughs> words, Make sure you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, but we have to do right. that. Right, shall we go to? Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, Erica. Hi, Erica. How are you doing? I like that name. That's pretty. Hi, Erica. Yeah. Hi. Uh-huh. Hi. Where are you calling from, honey? Washington State. Well, ah, Washington State. Interesting. That's supposed to be a really beautiful, beautiful area. That's what I. I've never been there. I've been to Washington, but never Washington State. You're way up on the top of the of the map, aren't you? Like yeah. way up there. <laughs> What's your birthday, Erica? December four, nineteen ninety three. December. 4th. Okay, so you are a Sag, a fun person, home is very important to you, people like you, they're very much drawn to you, Um, have a great personality, I need you to know that, but you do have your own private times where you just want to be left alone, like we all do sometimes, okay, what's your question, honey? Um, I have a work question, I have a very difficult, um, it's my job is very challenging. I'm a correctional officer at a oh, detention center for juveniles. Ooh, and that's a rough one. Okay, I have a good friend of mine. Yeah. she she just retired from it. Um, um, so what is your what is your question about it? My question they like is, you if there. you have any? They like you. How long have you been there? Too long, right? Um, since December <laughs> of last year. Okay. All right. And you work with all young ladies, I take it, or or do you have boys mixed? and girls? Yeah, really? okay. no, they're not mixed, but depending on the area where you're assigned, you either work okay. with girls or you work with boys. Okay. Um, what I keep feeling is a lot of confusion around these kids, which you can understand. You know, they get they get thrown into a situation where sometimes it's almost like they want they want to make a name for themselves, but while they're making a name, they're destroying their lives. You know. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm yeah. picking up one young man that I'm very very concerned about. Okay. To me, he looks tall, but I'm only 4'11", so the whole world's tall, okay? <laughs> um, I don't know why it's either he's always chewing gum or he's got a toothpick in his mouth. It could be a cigarette, too, but I'm not feeling like it's a cigarette, okay? Um, pretty blue eyes. Um, I don't trust him as far as I can see him, okay? Okay. Um, He's he he likes to negotiate people, which means he likes to bring them in. And a lot of these these kids that he brings in, it's almost like he's got his own little uh, group, okay. And it's weird because it, it's, this sounds so crazy when I'm going to say it. He I pick him up as being tall, well tall compared to me is tall, but he oh he tends to pick on or, or or has his own little crew of very short kids. In other words, mm-hmm. none of them are as, this sounds so crazy, none of them are as tall as he are because it's almost like he feels like he oversees them. Does that sound crazy mm-hmm. to you? You know what I mean? Um, 
where he, where he, like he, in other words, he's the powerhouse, even though he's not. I do, I'm sorry, I don't trust this kid, and I feel bad for the kid because he's so screwed up. He might even have a little bipolar or schizophrenic, you know. It's almost like um, uh, he want, he, he needs to be, uh, you, you know who's coming into mind, and this is a horrible thing to say, Charlie Manson, that kind of a person that's got a charismatic mm-hmm energy about them does this sound like somebody mm-hmm. that's in this that where you are because i'm picking this up so strong um i mean it's really hard to tell these these kids are you know locked Very up confused. for yep. oh. serious crimes and yeah, to us, sure. they might seem and, and to be innocent. and to be fair you're you're probably not able to say too much on a radio show that's going live either <laughs> right, that's true, that's true. Well, this, the, what I told you is I would definitely check out this child. I don't feel like he comes from where you are. I would say probably more eastern, you know, the eastern part of the, of New, of, of the country, like down here in New York, Jersey, Connecticut, Delaware, somewhere where he kind of got caught between a rock and a hard place. I also feel that he may have um, uh, robbed. That's I'm, I'm seeing. I'm seeing robbery around him more so than anything. Okay, uh, but he, but mm-hmm. you know it's sad because he was a good kid and he screwed up. Well, you know situations, complications. You know, but I will mm-hmm. tell you they do like you. Uh, you know. Because they feel, you know, you're almost like, a, I don't know how old you are, but it, but you're almost like, like that safe mother figure to them that some of them have never yes. had. Does that make and sense? And that's why I called, yes, because I feel like, um, I feel like I'm, I'm stepping back a little bit and I have a lot of compassion and kindness. Oh, for you the kids. do. You, you have a great energy around you. But the thing is, you know, they're there for a reason and you have to do your job, you know. But yes. the, but this this one kid I don't know why I I'm I'm very I'm very uh, concerned very concerned. Is, is, mm-hmm. Sorry, is there a reason why you're feeling like you need to step back? Um yes, because um I mean like I said this the um my personality it just can be seen as a weakness in this kind of environment. So I'm trying to step back a little bit and kind of be just more assertive. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But more, you know, but you have time. a great personality, and, and that, and that, you know, connects with them. Yes, and I, I recently I had a girl tell me how like I need to be more aware of my surroundings. Yeah. Just be more aware of my actions because certain things can look different to others, and Very um, true. I don't want to be accused of no, oh she's flirting not. or you know yeah. like those kinds yeah. of things. So that's why I feel like I'm stepping back. Even though I do connect with the kids, um, I feel like, I I don't know, I just want to talk to them, and I want to show them new games, you know, play, Good. take the time. How, what are their age groups? Are they teenagers or, or are they younger well, or, you know, you know can they, you say, like from, between 9 and 18 mm-hmm. or something like that? Um, so 12 when, to oh 18. Once they turn 18, we shift them, you, you know, they to go to another, county, they yeah. become legal adults. Yeah. But um, but I'm trying to. I wanted to see if you have any suggestions for me. I don't want to put myself in a situation no, where I'm going to be hated. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. Um, when when you speak with them, do you have a counselor sitting with you? Because um, no. Oh, see, I think that would be quite important. Because you know, even though you're a correction officer, they're trained to see different things in children, you know, you know, in people, especially if they're counselors. Mm-hmm. So maybe you may need to, you know, have someone just sitting in with you because you have a great personality. Yeah, and people can take that down as like a flirty, but you're not. You know, you're trying to do your job. You're probably a very pretty young lady, too, and that's and that's what catches these mm-hmm. kids. You know, like, doesn't oh, help. No. Yeah, no, well, it does, but it doesn't. I understand that. I understand that. Because what I keep seeing when I talk to you is you've got pretty eyes, um, you've got a real soft, gentle face, and, and nice hair, where, you, where when people look at you, you look more like a nurse than a correction officer. Would that sound about <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, and I'm also pretty short and petite, and I feel yeah. like maybe sometimes people can get jealous, um, 
you know, and that's why they see my pers- they see different perspectives. But for me, yeah, but you know, I'm not- Annie, I'm only four eleven, and you know what? I roar just like a lion. So they got to watch out <laughs> for the little ones. They have no idea. Yeah, no and I'm idea. trying to be harsh, but not too harsh. Like yeah, I just, it's hard. That's it's hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why yeah, well, I feel confused. Well, I wouldn't, you know, my suggestion is see see if you can have, especially if you're having kids that really, you know, come from, you know, some really unhealthy situations, you know, parents into drugs or alcohol or, you know, maybe there's only one parent that's really caring or maybe there's no parents that's caring. I would definitely bring in, you know, uh, you know, a... Um, you know, maybe a, a counselor that you know that that's aware of of children that age, because a lot of them could come in possibly. You know, I hate to say drug addicted, but possibly or possibly emotionally. Yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, pos- or post. You know, the po- abuse. Like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, well, sure. You know, it meant that's mental. You know, that's it. It's mental stress, and that's all they know. All they know is to fight for what what they think that they deserve. You know, it's sad. Mm-hmm. But I really feel down the road you're going to go places, you know, and it's nice to be nice, but sometimes you need to be nice, you know, with a little tougher way. But I, I, I feel very comfortable with what you're doing, and and they, they do like you, but there is this tall kid, just I would say, oh, excuse me, go with caution, because it's almost like they want their own little group, you know, and and, and he'll, he'll come on to him or even her will come on to the Oh, for some reason, it's always these shorter kids. It's so weird for me to even say that. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. All right, my dear. Let us know how you make out, though. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. well, God thank bless you. you. Well, You're mm-hmm. so welcome. That's Okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Cheers, thank Erica. You. Bye-bye. Yeah, sometimes that job is not so easy. I have a friend of mine, she just uh, literally retired from it. She was working here in New York, actually, I think, not a great area. And I believe she got hurt and she had to go out on compensation or, you know, a retirement or something. Yeah, you know, yeah. Not an easy job. Yeah. You know, it's a difficult one. And the thing is, let's face it as well, and I'm sure Eric will agree with this, it's, it's like really hard for them because, one, they are limited on funding in these places. Oh, And that's of worldwide. That's, a, you know, like you're yeah. saying about getting a counsellor in, let's face it, there probably isn't the funding to do that. Well, and that the other thing is, too. they yeah. can't go and talk out loud about stuff because obviously everything no. is private and confidential. What? So even stuff what? that they come home with, they can't, like, openly talk to people about it because it's all confidential. So you, it's really hard for them to actually be open yeah. about stuff and release stuff. Don't and mean? a lot of them, you know, a lot of them might have gotten pregnant at a young age and had to have an abortion. You know, a lot, there's so much out there that we're not even aware of, probably. You know, that, that you know, that everything is, they, they're afraid to to expose certain things because they were never taught, you know, hey, it's okay to, you know, you know, what they say, see something, say something. You know, something yeah. to that to that to that because it's sad. I mean, you know, you see so many of these kids that are homeless, helpless, and the parents just gave up, and, and there's no reason for it. But a yeah, lot of exactly. these kids, a lot of these kids that get in trouble, once they get on the right path, they try to fix themselves and they try to do the right thing, you know, which is nice. But then again, that's their lesson in life. You know, when they come in, some of them have to have that lesson, and when they have that lesson, it's it it it, it either you know they either stray worse or they get hopefully they get better from the whole deal. Yeah, yeah, definitely, you know, you know, definitely. It's not easy. It's not yeah, easy. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Bless them. Right, uh, let's go to uh, Christine. Hi, Christine. How are you doing? Hi, Christine. Hi, thank you. Where are you calling from, honey? I'm calling from Colorado. Ah, I'm just talking to somebody from Colorado today. That's so nice. <laughs> What's your birthday, honey? Mm-hmm. Uh, my birthday is one six eighty six. January 6th? Okay. Mm-hmm. So you are a Capricorn, I believe, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And what's your question, Christine? Um, I was just wondering if you could pick up anything in terms of my career moving forward. Okay, your career. Okay. First of all, I like your energy, okay? I do feel like you're very dedicated. That's what I'm being shown, okay? Um, You are an earth sign. So, you know, when you're an earth sign, uh, I'm an earth sign too. When, when we're earth signs, 
we're very articulate in what we do. We, we, we don't like to make mistakes, even though we do make a lot of mistakes at times, okay? Yeah. But but um, I, I see you two steps forward, three steps back. Are you thinking of going back to an old job or something? Because there's some opportunity for something from the past coming back to, to you. Does that make any sense? Yes. Okay. Do you want to go back to it? Do you feel comfortable with um, it? Well, actually, I'm thinking about um, a position that was offered to me in the past, and I did not take it. And, okay. um, and it's offered to me again now. And I'm okay. thinking about it. I'm not sure. Well, I do feel... You know, we we just literally got out of retrograde not too long ago, and I do feel new doors opening, new opportunity for you, okay? As long as you're comfortable with it, the only thing I'm seeing is long hours. Now, in other words, it's not going to be like a nine-to-five job. It's going to be, you know, and, and, with, and with whatever the salary is, you're not going to have – any say in it. In other words, it might not be like, you know, 7 to 3 or 8 to 4. You know, it may start out that way. But then little by little, you're going to be more and more work's going to be piled on you. But I'm comfortable with it. I like it. I feel like it's going to be exciting. I feel like you're going to meet some very, very interesting people. You know, I don't know why, but I keep on picking up media around you. I don't know if that means anything. Would that mean anything to you? Uh, maybe social media. <laughs> All right. Well, well, media is media. Okay, that's what I'm being shown. Yes. Yeah. But oh, somebody's calling me. But that's right. They'll call later. But I feel I'm comfortable with it, and I like it. I feel very safe with it. You know, as okay. long as they as as long as they guarantee you a certain, uh, you know, a certain, what type of work do you do now? I was working on a hemp farm. On a what kind of farm? A hemp, hemp? farm. Yes. H-E-M-P? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, okay. So that's the newest thing coming out right now. And is this mm-hmm. is this involved in that, or is this some, or the other the other job is something totally different? No, it's actually a different hemp farm. It is. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know. I, I feel very good. I feel comfortable with it. So, okay. you know, as long as you're comfortable with it, you're the one that's going to be doing it. But I just feel like there's going to be a lot more hours than than you you want to put in for. But, again, okay. you know, that's your choice. But I don't feel uncomfortable, put it that way, my dear. Okay. Okay, Christine? Thank you very much. Let, it, let us know how you make out, okay, honey? All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks so much, Christine. Bye-bye. You know, Cheers. I was Bye-bye. talking to I was talking to a young lady today. She used to work on an, what the hell was it, an elephant reserve or something. I was like, okay. what? I, was so, I don't even know what country it was in. But I was like so intrigued by it, you know, taking it because we were talking about how, you know, even though they're huge, they're, they're big animals, they're still very sensitive like we are. Yeah, you know? definitely so. I don't know, definitely I don't know where so. that came from, but it just came out of my mouth for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Also, if anybody's listening to show and you know this answer, by all means, please give me an email. Ellen DeGeneres, I found out, has been to the UK. I want to start oh, my really? speech loudly. I didn't know she was coming to the UK. Otherwise, I would have jumped her already. Oh, um, but God. if anybody knows how long she's in UK or if she's already left, or where she's planning on going, any inside information would be very, very good. Sorry, just had to put that out there. <laughs> can you, maybe, maybe you can go on her site and you can uh, um, see. I've, you looked, know, really. I, I've already looked on her Facebook and I couldn't see anything, um, mm. but I've not had a chance to proper look, look. So I'm going yeah. to be trying to sort that. So, yeah. Yeah, Definitely. maybe one of her agents or something you could find out, or, or contact the station, you know, that she's at, the studio that exactly. she's at. I'm go- and I'm just tell her your media, them. your media as well, and you'd love to, you know, interview or have you on the show, and you know, when she's there. I think she's oh. a fun lady. I like her. I, I like love her a bit. Absolutely, <laughs> she's my idol. I think what oh, she does nice. is absolutely amazing, and I would love to do even like a, a te- one tenth of what she does. 
I would yes. look at, well, Imagine if one. I could get the radio show up to a deal where I could get, like, sponsors for the show and everything, and what then I could mean? help charities by saying, ER, do you know what, here's a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Imagine the difference. So everybody yeah. who hasn't, like, already liked our suit... Debs, don't be coming saying that now. She's just put... She's in London for two weeks. Debs, oh, if now? that's the case, I'm going to London. <laughs> just for the record. <laughs> I what am going... Need? No, okay. I, this is what you Oh, my God. To do. Apparently, apparently, Deb says she's got 11 days left. So, right, Deb, so we see need if to you organize. can get her agent. See if you can find her agent or where she's oh, no. staying. No, 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 no. I'm not doing all that. Millions of people <laughs> find her agent. No. You'll just go and pick it. You'll pick it every hotel oh. there saying, where are you, Ellen? Oh, no. Listen, I'll literally, I'm going to be doing a radio. I'll be doing a Facebook Live going into there you London. Go. Finding it. Go. Trust me, Debs, we're meeting up in London, love. We're going to London. Trust me, I am going to jump her. You're <laughs> funny. Well, now, you now, be a good girl. Now, let's not. We don't want to you go on the front page of, of a major newspaper. Hey, well, listen, <laughs> listen, I'm under no illusion. If I've got to get front page of Ellen, right, and then to do that, I need to be a sister or jumper, trust me, I'll do it. Okay? I think you're going to meet her. I have a feeling you're going to meet her. Janet, you know, I had, well, you know, I had asked Marcos because Marcos knows the world, you know, and well, he, you know, he, I, I he mean, has sent me, he has sent me some emails, but they're the the ones of like the producers and stuff, but they're they're run of the mill emails that everybody can get. But do you know what? If she's in the UK, I'm going to London. There you and go. Wow. If you, Ellen DeGeneres, let me just say this out loud on the radio so everybody knows, right? Ellen DeGeneres, I am pleading on your better nature right oh. now here on the RC Radio Show to please let me meet you just half an hour of your beautiful time with your lovely wife because I just really need some photographs of you. I really want <laughs> to speak to you and I want you to inspire me and help me to get this radio oh. show out there so I can help even more people in this horrible and sometimes cruel world. I want to make good people even better. So good if Ellen you. DeGeneres or anybody is listening to the show who can get this to her, please Please forward it. I'm going to put this onto the um And she's an animal at the show, too, so that fits right in perfect. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And she loves... Um, I got a good oh feeling about Oh, my goodness, she's it. amazing. Oh. I have a good feeling about it. I Apparently, really she leaves on the 31st. Deb, All right, well, we're well, going to London it? before the 31st. Right, I'm you telling you now. You've got time, was it? You've got 11 days. Oh, my God. That's like, that's like a lifetime. Yeah, it's not you, like it's yeah, two days you know away. what's even worse? Uh, maybe Ellen DeGeneres wants to come to Scotland with me then, because I'm going to Scotland next Ooh, week. Oh, yeah. We're well, having five is, days right? away, so I won't be doing a show next week, probably, um, okay, because okay. I've got, unless I can literally find a Wi-Fi somewhere. Um, okay. But, literally, I, I'm looking forward to it. Break away and everything. Yeah. But Ellen DeGeneres, I'm not joking now. I will spare some time up in Scotland to speak with you if you want to pop to Scotland to see us. It, we've got room in the caravan. We'll budge over. It's not a problem. <laughs> it's not a problem. It, it isn't a problem. Yeah, too funny. I love it. I think it'd be great. Wouldn't that be awesome? Now, now, I mean, Marco. I, I mean, Marco is in can New York, but 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 he may know people <laughs> in California, you know, because he knows people all over. Right. So, um, just a quick thing. The other half just beat to Zed Wang going, "Oh my word!" Right. But just uh, just for the record, uh, we'd make room for Ellen to join it. So if Ellen John wants to come on holiday for a couple of days in Scotland, you can by all means join. Oh, yeah. There you go. Chris is looking at me going, oh, my word. Listen, Why not? We're we'll all squidge up. It's not a problem. Hey, they're only, they're only people. They're only welcome. people like the rest of us. People don't get that. <laughs> you don't get it. They don't get it. That You know, they're only Just, people. Like, that's their business. That's their job. I got a really good feel about it. I yeah. really, really do. <laughs> oh, fingers crossed. I'm going to have to get this little, literally, you're going to have to put the show on to YouTube literally as soon as I finish. Yeah, the, send it yeah, out. It'll be send good. It It'll be good. So, um, so well, what date are we today? Oh, we're on the 20th today. So, yeah, yeah we're so okay. Yeah, you've got then. plenty of time. My God, you have plenty. 11 days is plenty of time. Yep. So, Deb, sir, we need to sort out going to London or she's going to have to join us in Scotland. One of the two. <laughs> she's got choices to make. Ellen DeGeneres, you need to come and make choices here. This is very important. Well, e either, either country is beautiful, they say. So, uh, you know. Yes, yeah. have got a lot yep. to offer. Oh, it's going to be beautiful there. Yeah. It'll be good. Great. Great. Anyway, enough of my banter. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, you put it out there. You got to put it out there, you know, for people to oh, hear it. Do you know what? Listen, I've even done a shout out even on my website. If anybody wants to go to www.assu.co.uk, you will find out where I do a shout out to Ellen DeGeneres. By all means, share it. 
and now hopefully she will see it. Right? And that was put on months ago. Okay, well, I'm sure. Hey, you never know. I'm going to have to think, I'm going to have to see, because I know a lot of people, I'm going to see if I can think of somebody that's in California right now that may, well, she's now, well, she's in, she's in uh, the UK right now, but I, I don't know, let me, let me see. Uh, listen, I know so I don't, listen, I don't care if you get hold of her great aunt Margaret, or a great aunt <laughs> whoever, or great uncle Bob, or a nan granddad, or Danny Durant, right, I don't care who, Johnny. Just even, I need even, to get pu- even, to even, it. even her animals, if she's got puppies or kittens, even a veterinarian, correct? <laughs> <laughs> so you're getting it now, aren't you, Johnny? You're getting hold of this now. I like it when people get onto my wavelength. That, that's exactly. the idea, Johnny. Because if, if, she's you know taken, called, if she's taking the animals, you know she's got to have vaccinations for them. So. Yeah, but ultimate, Johnny. The, what you, the word you're looking for, if anybody else is stalking Ellen DeGenerate, um, but <laughs> do you know what? Can I just say something, right? Let's just have some, just something else about Ellen DeGenerate, right? Everybody knows that I love what she does. I, do you know what kills me? It's when she literally makes people jump on a show. That oh, absolutely yeah, she's too much. races she's me. That is just total me, which I've got some else funny to tell you about <laughs> that in a minute. Anyway. Well, hey, she um, might invite you back to her show. You never know. Wouldn't that be oh. awesome? I'm not That's joking. Great. They will have to put me a heart machine in because I'm not joking. <laughs> I think mine will miss a beat. I'll, I I'll, loan, I'll loan you my pass, my my my, my pacemaker. <laughs> I'm not joking. I will probably need it. I am not kidding now. Oh. That would like, oh my good God, oh, that would be, I, a dream that would come be true. That will be my ultimate dream come true. Like yep. amazing. I would. Oh, that why would not? be. But do you know what, Johnny, the thing is, right, everybody has got their dreams, right, and a lot of people, don't take this wrong way, but a lot of people have literally got it where their dreams are financially to be more financially thing or whatever or thing. Yeah, Mine isn't. Mine's just to make no. a better world, just to be able to help people more. And, and, that's, stuff. and that's a blessing, and that, that, that's yeah. the right way to look at it. Yeah, That's do you know right. what? I'm not being funny. I would say to everybody, I don't want a big house or anything because that means cleaning. I wouldn't <laughs> mind a fancy. I wouldn't yes, mind. Yes, I so relate. <laughs> yeah, a, a bungalow I'll be happy with because then me knee with the stairs, you know, bungalow. Yep. Bungalow, for you Americans who don't do bungalows, that's just a, a ground floor building, okay? No, no right. second floor. Okay, you're funny, you're um, funny, so that would be brilliant. Uh, you know, so if anybody's got a spare bungalow sitting around, I'll cr- quite happily take that. Um, I don't and it. also, I quite like the idea of a black Range Rover with tinted windows. <laughs> okay, oh, nothing special. <laughs> nothing special. No, do you know? No, but I, I'm not supposed to the house. You can keep the house. It's not. I'm not so bothered about the house. Um, but car would be good because then I can get round to different rescue places and right, you know, I can I get agree. round to do my thing. Okay, yep, yep, um, yep, yep. but do you know what my dream would be? I would give up all of that just to be able to meet other family to Jenna and her to be able to help me to get my radio show out there. She literally beautiful. helped. She literally helped a family called the Daniels family, and okay. they were helping other people. And she good. went and she set them up with goodness knows how many thousands so that they She's could go and help woman. others. She's a good woman. Imagine. Imagine you know, you know who else that. did that? Many years ago, I had this one lady on my show. I don't remember her name, but she she was a former nurse who would take care of all um, uh, dogs and cats that were getting old. In other words, you know, she she would. Um, it was almost like um, uh, what the hell do you call that? <coughs> when you come to your end of your life, practically, yeah. where it's, it's almost like a nursing facility. But you know, but it was all older animals. And I had said to her when I had, I had predicted for, to her one day, and I said, you know, I said, I feel like for some reason you're going to meet with um, what, Oprah Winfrey. Well, do you know that she met with Oprah Winfrey, and Oprah gave her 400 acres upstate New York for, for her animals. Her name was Susan Marino. That was her name. Susan See, Marino. another I, Sue. What could yeah. I say? Mike, well, Janet, listen. I don't listen, know what I'm going to have to. Never mind dead. everybody else's readings for a moment. I want you to predict for me. When am I actually going to meet Alan DeGeneres? Well, Live why on the not? Ask you Radio Show. Come on. Ask you shall receive. You're putting it out there, and that's the main thing. Oh. We have no idea Johnny, who listens to I've this been, show. Hold on a we minute. have no idea I've who's been, connecting. Hold on. I've been putting this out there for Alan DeGeneres for I don't Everything know how timing, long. Everything is timing, my dear. Everything is timing. It takes nine months to have a baby. You can't get pregnant this week and have it the following week. 
So <laughs> everything is timing, right? Timing. So oh you've, been my put, word. you've been putting the time in, so let's hope that that baby shows up within 11 days. Would that oh, be great? within 11 days. Oh, all right, let's just have a little... My, for anybody who, who doesn't believe in God or whatever, I'm not really bothered. Just we'll put your hands prayer. together and yep. just do that little wish for me you within the it. next 11 days. And exactly. trust me, you will hear it first on the Ask Oh, I'll be hearing the screaming all the way here in New York. I, I was just going to say, right, <laughs> all you'll hear, you won't hear no theme tune, love. It'll be, right? ah! Well, I, wouldn't even have to put the, I wouldn't even have to put the laptop on. She'll be like, oh, my God. I have a good feeling about it. I really do. Because you oh. never know who's listening. You just nope. never, never know. So any of you people out there, you know, that are from the States or from UK, I would probably say the States more, um... Connect, 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 and let's come on. Let's get let's get um, Ellen DeGeneres to meet Sue. Come on, let, we, well, okay. Together all we can you, all do it. All of huh? you, right? Every single yep. week, right? Me and Janet do these free readings for you, right? I ask yep. for one wish. We never ask for things. We're paying right, you forward in thing, our own way. Yep. Right. All I want you to do is go to my website, asksue.co.uk, click yep. on shout out for Ellen DeGeneres, and literally share it. Retweet it, Facebook, yep. you name all it, Instagram, over. YouTube, anything you like, put it all over and just get it out there. And anybody who shares it, if I actually get there, I trust you, you'll be on my radio show at the same time, okay? Good for you. I, I, I think maybe <gasps> even put a little, note, a little note in an empty bottle might work, too. We could do it from New York to go, <laughs> to go over to the UK. <laughs> hey, you never know. <laughs> oh, my God. I wish I could put music on straight now when I could do that little song. <laughs> Message in a bottle. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. We do, we do have fun. Uh, you know, we're always on, on such a direct path, aren't we? We get oh. all over the place. For anybody the wanting a re- if anybody's wanting a reading, I apologize for taking up the oh, time. No, but, you it's know, fun. No. Listen, needs must. You know, if, if, at the end of the day, if, if anything comes, if, if, put it this way. If somebody told me that Ellen DeGeneres was going to ring the show tonight and ask for reading, trust me, she would literally be. Oh, my be, God. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Right. Um, just if I'm, I've just got Debs asking what's the number to show. So it's 323-870-3861. That's 001 from the UK, 323-870-3861. Now, Debs, if you call in, I'll bring you straight in. Do you know what? Debs has helped me for years on this show. Oh, like, nice. So Good. when we were doing, I don't know if you remember, do you remember a dog called Lennox that was in Belfast who got seized by Belfast Council and was actually killed by them? Oh, my God. I, I don't did know. You, I don't well, know. we, loads, I mean, thousands of people followed us, and we really? did amazing wow. things. Absolutely amazing. We even got a plane to fly over to Belfast with wow. one of my reporters I literally went in there, and do you know what? They killed that dog while my oh. reporter was in the building. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, that's yeah. terrible. That's yeah. So bad. Oh, it was horrendous. That. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I got. I have right. a really good feeling about this. I really, truly do. I just feel somebody's going to be listening in, and you know, now we have a, a, a time change for the shows as well. You know, yeah. So, so now you know people are listening probably after dinner. You know, they got home from work, so now maybe they have a little bit more access because we used to do it earlier in the day. You know, and I know it's night time there, but it's still you know it's only what six a little after six o'clock here in you know in the states, or at least yeah, in New York anyway. It's ten you know, past it's, eleven at yep. night, and I am figuring yep. my head off talking about Ellen DeGeneres and speaking <laughs> to people in America. I mean, come on, how many people do this? How, how <laughs> how, how, I mean, yeah, really? really, you know, we're talking about sending a note in a bottle. <laughs> hey, if it works, what the hell, you know? What yep. the hell, you know? Racing pigeon or anything, we're not really fussed. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'll tell you what, you'd have to have some laughs, don't you? Do you know what I mean? Honest to God. It, make, it makes life easier, you know? Exactly, exactly. Easier. Right, I think I've got Debs here. Oh, Hi, okay. Debs, is that you? Hello. Oh Hi. my God! Do you know what this <laughs> <I> <laughs> love? <laughs> Janet, me and her have had so many giggles on this show. You would not yes. believe, honest to God. That's important. Hello, oh. Janet. How are you? I woke up, so yay! <laughs> I'm good. I'm <laughs> right, good. Let me turn this laptop down because that sounds really weird. <laughs> 
Oh, what is she oh my like? God, I've just, heard, I've just heard my voice on radio. That's bad. <laughs> but hello, sweethearts, how are you? Janet, oh, this okay. woman, she I'm, is I'm good. freaking I'm good. amazing. Aw, thank you, honey. That's very kind of you. Did you <laughs> like your reading? Yes, I did. And how you got the twins, no one I, knows that. It's not me. No I, one knows it's that. It's not me. When I get the messages, you know, I, I was a letter carrier for many years, so I say I'm still delivering the mail, but in a different way. So... Mm. Yeah. Messages of love. No, no, I've lost. Uh, I've got an angel in heaven, a baby do do? angel. Oh, but okay. I've got two, and nobody knows about Shannon. Uh huh. Like, right. yeah. well, you know, when they're when they're in heaven, sometimes they're closer to us than when they're here actually, you know, on earth. So. And you feel it. You get messages. We all get messages. You feel it, you know. uh, Just certain things, you know, come about, and you'll be like, oh, my God, that so reminds me of of this person or that person, you know. Yeah. It happens. I can't believe you said said about my daughter having twins at the minute, being pregnant, so I rang her. I was like, are you pregnant? And she's like, Mum, I get married in May. And I'm like, but can you check? <laughs> oh, you're funny. You're funny. You're funny. Yeah, well, they want that ring on the finger before they get here. You know, no, that's, no, that's, honestly, that's what makes me so laugh. What he did, I rang Gabby and said, are you pregnant? She's like, what makes you say that? I'm like, I've just been told you've got twins. <laughs> oh, God. She's like, oh, no. Please, not now. Well, whoever's coming through, they want the ring on the finger. It's funny, what you know, when they send certain messages. Oh, she gets married you know. in May. She, she gets married in May. But okay. um, she's desperate for children. Aww. And so well, am I. Just so for the kid. Just yeah. like, oh, but no, you, you, you have other me, children. You have other daughters, twins. correct? Oh, you have other children, right? <laughs> You have other you have other um, daughters, correct? No, 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 not not live children. No, I don't. Well, how many children do you have? One live, two dead. Oh, okay, all right. So you have okay, all right. Because because um, definitely there's a lot of angels there, and they all want to come back. I lost my daughter two years ago, so I know the pain of of you know. And she was murdered, so I know the pain of of losing a child. Oh, you know? bless you. Yeah, yeah. Bless, yeah. Bless she was you. she was in her fifties, but still, she was my youngest one. But still, it's it's a horror. It's a horror. But she sends me so many messages, you know. And the thing is, is when they are on the other side, they have so much more access to sending us messages. Sometimes the phone will get weird. The electric. You'll find a feather, a coin. You'll take pictures, and there'll be an orb, and that's always them. You'll You'll smell like a cologne or, you know, or whatever, you know. They're oh, always yeah, around definite, us. Definitely, They're always definitely. around us. Yeah, well, oh, I wish you that. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Oh, well, without a doubt, sweetheart. I've been going through this for 20-odd years, and every every little bit is a sign. Oh, yeah, I totally. I get that totally. totally. Yeah. So it's all good. It's all good. So all I hope good. you enjoy the show. Because oh, you I never know what's going to come out of us. Pick... Oh, no, <laughs> are you picking up on twins? No, well, knows. that's what I, I said. Abby knows. Only apart from family knows Abby. Either, either twins My or born under, under the sign. Either twins or born under the sign. Yeah, either twins were born under the sign of Gemini or conceived under the sign of Gemini. Now, they're getting married in May, so May, the end of May is a Gemini sign. So, you know. Yeah, but when were, when were they be conceived before? When was what, hon? I didn't hear you. When was they be conceived before they get married in May? I hope so. I well, just want uh, babies. Well, May is a Gemini sign, okay? I'm feeling yeah. probably, what are we in? We're in uh, August. I'm feeling maybe February or March for some reason. They're very anxious. They want to, the foot's tapping. They want to come back. They want to come back. They want to hey. come back. Deb, can yeah, I just say to you? Scorpio, Deb, they're both born. Hello? Cause it, just let me tell you, do you realize it's nine months till May? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yes, yes. 
Well, you're giving me chills. Wow. You might have to change that dress shirt, Deb. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but no, no. They're both. It's oh, wow. so yeah. weird. Um, yeah. Abby was born on the 13th of the 11th, 92. And Ryan was born the 12th of the 11th, 92. And me and Ryan's man were both in the same maternity ward, giving birth exactly the same time. Oh, my God, that's funny. How bizarre is that? It happens, it happens So they're both Scorpios and both, like, very, (laughs) like, ugh. Yeah. Yeah, well, it does happen that way. You know, but I do do pick up pregnancy. (laughs) I do pick up pregnancy, so so that's good. So... Well, I, right, I then, hope Deb. you're enjoying. I hope you're enjoying uh, our show. We do have a lot of laughs, and oh, we never know what definitely. we never know what's going to come out of our mouths, and that's why it's fun. <laughs> With the real deal, we're oh, unfiltered, I'm not being as they say. <laughs> I'm not being funny. I expect twins now. Well, if they're not <laughs> twins, they're going to be born under the sign of Gemini or. A conceived under the sign of Gemini, or two babies very close, because I definitely pick up two babies, or two babies very close oh, together. Oh, you're, bless. you I are so bless. gonna have to send this link over to Abby now. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. I've already texted her, so and said to her, "Oh my God, you're having twins." <laughs> I'll, t- I'll tell you, my, my, my first, my first two were eleven and a half months apart. And my next two were 13 months apart. I had four children at 22, so then I found out it was the rum and coke that was causing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 you've told me I'm having twin grandchildren now. I'm sticking to that. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I, I, send, I, I, us, send us the Janet. pictures. Send yeah, us the pictures. No, on a serious note, Janet, I cannot believe you picked up on the twin side of it. Well, I can't it, it, it's be, what it is. But there's not a lot of many people that know that. Sue doesn't know that, I don't think. But Abby was one of the twin. My oh, other yeah. daughter was a year apart. Not okay. many people know Abby's yeah. a twin. Her dad's a twin. You know, this is so uh, funny because today there was a young girl that came to where I was doing readings, and her name was Abby, too. And I and I love that name, and you very rarely hear it. So here I'm hearing it twice today. <laughs> pretty name. Pretty name. Right, well, Debs, I've got to get some of these other, readers on, uh, other readings on, so thanks yep. for calling in, darling. Yes. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll love and leave you, Sue. Speak to you soon. All right, then, darling. Thank you, my dear. Bye, bye, bye. God bye, bless bye. you. Catch you later, Trump. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, honey. <laughs> Can't you tell she's one of my friends? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, she's she's a fun lady, and she's and she's I like I like her energy. She's a sweetie. She's a nice lady. She yeah, tells she's, us, she's unfiltered like we are. She tells us the way it is. Oh yeah, that's definitely. Good. That's good. That's right. good. That's good. Shall we go back to the phone lines again? Definitely. Right. Uh, we've got Mike on. Oh, hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, Lindsay. How are you? Good. Where are you doing? calling from? Good. I'm in Nevada. Oh, I've been there. Las Vegas. That's right. What's your birthday, dear? 52970. Oh, my God. You poor thing. You're a Gemini. <laughs> and my son's <laughs> May 28. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, but men are so different, Sue. Men are so different. Okay. And what's your <laughs> question, Mike? Uh, my question is, um, I'm in the position of not knowing whether I'm staying here or not, and so I'm just, uh, I'm in a temporary uh, housing situation, and, and whether I'm just wondering if I just, like, go get an apartment, or do I, like, maybe, like, a rental room, because I don't know, I know this isn't the final destination, and... Okay. Um, well, but first I thing I will tell home. you, first thing I will tell you, the Gemini's, including my son, they are making some major decisions. 
Okay. Um, I would say the last year, a lot. There was a lot. It was a bumpy road. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. It yeah. was a bumpy road. But I'm what I'm being shown. When I talk to you, I see a hand. A hand to me show. You know, we have five fingers on on our hand. So that shows me a lot of travel. It also shows me a lot of communication, but it also shows me a lot of money to be made. So there's going to be a lot of opportunities coming your way. So my suggestion, and of course you have to make up your own mind, because I know Gemini's right. are twins, so you know you got a good twin and a bad twin there, you know. Yep. Um, my suggestion is maybe you can find a place, it sounds crazy, I know, but maybe you can find a place to house it while you are there, okay? Right. Because there are a lot of, you know, of people that may want to, you know, uh, well, in New York we call them snowbirds, you know, where they want they want to go to down Florida, you know, for the winter. Yep. So I, I don't know where they would go from Vegas. I mean, I know it's quite hot. I've been there 30 times over the years. So I know it gets quite hot in the summer, you know. And, of course, right. we're coming into the winter now. But I'm feeling like whatever you're going to be doing – I'm 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 feeling happier days for you. Are you in the entertainment field? Uh, well, I mean, it's interesting because again, I was debating between the two questions. So I'm a psychic medium, but I've oh, been blocked. Okay. Well, there you I've go. You're just like me. God bless well, you. But I've been blocked since I've been into Vegas, which is really weird too, too much years. energy there. Too much energy there. And I haven't had. I've had. I think one jaw dropping moment, you know, where I just kind of pull up a name. I'm at a pool, and the people are just like a crowd gathers, and I'm just like, Good yeah. for you. I, now, it's, ama- so, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, the gift is, is so beautiful, you know. It really but I is. I used to be you able know? to do that all the time. Huh? I used to be able to do that all the time, like when I was in Arizona or California, uh, but for some reason here, um, well, I, I, what I feel there is the energy. You know, I mean, there's so much yeah. static there. You know, it's not yeah. it's not a clear, you know, but I definitely feel financial gain around you. You are very well liked, I have to tell you that. So, yeah. um, but, you know, but I do pick up good energy around you. Um, I don't know. I, I, I definitely pick up media with you. So I don't know what, you know, if maybe you're going to be doing some sort of a, um, even a face talk kind of a thing where you're going to expand. Right, right. you you got to stay in touch with me, though. Do you ever come to New York? Uh, I, I haven't since I was in the Navy back in the 90s. Oh, because I live in Long Island. I live in New York, so that's where oh, I do all okay. my work, you know. Uh, and I have a cable show as well, so, you know, and I know a lot, a oh, lot of people awesome. here. Yeah, I've been doing it for 20 years, my cable show. You can, you can I don't, you know, you you can go and you can go on, uh, you can Google me. You know, my website's there, but you, but but you have to get my new website because my other one was hacked. So you certainly don't oh. want to go there unless you want to see a lot of new people, and that's not me. <laughs> so, you know, well, you know, they only pick on the best, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> But I do pick up, I, but I, but I feel like you're coming into a much better time. But I think with, with Vegas, I think it's just that static energy, you know. And I mean, okay. I haven't been there in over 30 years. Well, my husband was a very big gambler, so I probably own part of the Fontainebleau, I think, or or one of those hotels there. But um, but the thing is. With all that energy, because you got the positive, but then you got the negative. You know, you go in there, you yeah. want to win big, but then you're losing big too. You no, know? yeah, but you know, but I definitely, I, 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 I'm very comfortable with what's coming up for you, my dear. But I Wonderful. want you to stay in Wonderful. touch. I want you to stay I, in touch, no, please. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll absolutely hit you up uh, here when I uh, after the show, and okay, uh, we'll Great. exchange contact information. I Sounds appreciate good. That. And I am on Facebook, but the fa- my Facebook uh, is the one with the 5,000 friends on it. So okay. I have three or four Facebooks. The one, the one is me standing there. I think I have purple on, and my hands are up saying, oh, well, that's life on life's terms. But, you know, but, yeah, but th- better, better days should be coming to you now. But I do see financial gain. I see opportunity around you, but I do see a lot of travel, which is good. But travel could be on the phone. It could be on, you know, on the computer. You know, tra- you know, travel is travel. 
Yep. So, no, you're so I right. hope you I hope you enjoy your reading and and I wish you the best. You know, we all us us psychics we have to stick together. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot there that are you know what I don't even want to say the word, but you know you know what yeah, I mean. I, I know hundred percent what you're talking. About. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I wish you the best, my dear. Thank so you. I touch. appreciate it. Anything? Okay, Mike. And uh, Mike, give us an email after the show, okay, as well. Yes, I will. Uh, Asushow at gmail dot com. Yep, I emailed you earlier today. Oh yeah, you did. I'll give you an email after the show. All right, okay. love. Thank All right, Jim, Mike, you know, thank you. He would be great for one of your psychic shows too. That's what I'm thinking. He's, yep, I'll give him an email. He's a medium. After the show. Why not? Sure, there's plenty. Yep. There's plenty for everybody. You know. Yeah, it's it's definitely. Everybody's it's definitely got a nice energy around them. I, you know, I wish them the best. But he is yep. a Gemini. I know you're a Gemini as well. But Gemini's have gone. Well, you know, I don't have to explain. But it should be. It should be getting better now for all of you. I pray. My son's a Gemini. I pray. Especially in the uh, next eleven days. Remember, Jerry. Oh, keep, hey, it's got to be in the next there. eleven days. <laughs> if it's not in the next eleven days, we're done. That, that's it. <laughs> Right, shall we get um, Marilyn on the show? Hi, Marilyn. Sure. Marilyn? Hi, Hi Marilyn. Hi. God, I haven't heard that word, that name in so long. I love that no. name. Well, but when you. I hear that name, it reminds me of Marilyn Monroe. I guess everybody feels that way, right? Yeah, and I was so. born during that time, so oh, I okay. totally get that. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, well, look, you know, they t- my name's Janet Russell, and they say, oh, Jane Russell. I'm like, no, I wish I had her money, but I don't think she's around any longer. So, you know. Right. What What is your birthday, Marilyn? It's October 25th. Ah, another Scorpio. Okay. And yeah. what, is your, what is the question you'd like to ask me? I have a financial question. Um, okay. So I am, uh, I made an investment over a year ago with someone. Um, okay. I would really like to, The it was a good investment, I believe. Okay. And uh, although I was, it was for a year and it came due in June and they weren't able to put together the kind of um, investment that they thought they were going to get. So okay. I'm still invested with them. I was wondering if that, does look like a good uh, investment. Okay. And where where, where are you calling me. from? Yeah. What state? Colorado. Colorado. Oh, Colorado too. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. first thing I'm being shown, okay, yeah. I'm just praying it has nothing to do with the stocks. That's, that's my first thing because I do no. see a very sad, bumpy road for the stocks, and I hope I'm wrong. I know I have a lot of people that contact me that are involved in stocks. I am certainly not, and I did tell them that there was going to be a big, uh, you know, drop, and I think we had there was about 800 points or something that dropped down. Okay. Yeah. That's um, good. do you know the birthday of this person? Just the day in the month. I don't know the year. Okay. Ooh. Uh, I do not know. Um, it's a technology investment. Um, the inventor has patents and has been doing this for a while. It's a new okay. technology. Um, and the woman I invested with has done this before with other companies. So okay. It's, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, let me ask you, what, what I keep feeling, is there another country involved? Yes. Yes, okay. France. Okay. He's French. Yes. Oh, France? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel you're going to get, you know, I feel like it's going to be viable, but uh, right now I'm not seeing mega bucks. It's going to take maybe, I want to say, three to five years. Now, I don't know if you want to stay in it for three to five years. Uh-huh. Three okay. Three to five years. Wow, that was not the original... Thought, I understand I, that, I but with, you know, with the economy and with the politics, everything changes crazily. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um. I, I and and I keep feeling around this person that you 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 know that you made you know you you went partners. There's some health issues there. Now I don't know mm. if it's with them or with mm-hmm. the, a family member, but that was the first thing that I picked up when you mentioned it. Okay. Okay. Would that make any sense? Okay. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know of the health issues. I've had 
some health issues, and my family members have been having some health issues, and okay. that's part of the reason why I wanted. Right. I, I look. I. I so, and you're a Scorpio, yeah. so you know the last four to six years you went through your own bumpy road. I'm a Taurus, and and you know uh, Saturn was on Taurus. I always say this, but it affected the opposite sign of Scorpio. So you had to. Uh-huh. I like to use the word unclutter. So you had to step away. But now. I see the rainbow, so at the end of the rainbow is usually the pot of gold. Okay. But with France, I'm also picking up China, and I don't know why, but that was the first first thought that came to me. So I don't know if they're going to connect with France and China, but I'm definitely feeling, for some reason, I'm getting confirmation because I'm getting chills. Ah. Okay, well, it is a... It, it could be a world technology. It's not just related to one country. It's well, maybe that's why I'm picking up other countries too. You know, I would. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, it's. Up, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money because, believe me, I I got in stocks once and lost a, a chunk of change. So I don't. You know, I mean, yeah. I can predict, but I can't. You know, I'm not telling. I would. I would go with it for now. If you're uncomfortable, okay. then you need to do whatever you're comfortable with. I'm not telling right. you to pull out, but I'm just going, I need to say go with caution. There's major, major, yeah. major changes, major changes coming. Really? So, yeah, all oh. big time. Scary changes. In the financial? Yes, financial totally. world. And I've been saying this right. so long, and, I, and you know, a lot of my, my other, you know, readers, you know, that I work with, that we're all kind of, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's like waiting for the balloon to let air out. That's exactly what it's coming oh. to. So I pray I'm wrong. I pray I'm wrong. Okay. It's not a pretty picture. And the, do you, could, because this was so important to sort of my financial kind of current situation in a way, yep. will I get through it without it, I guess, is the question. Well, you know, I'm not seeing you losing it. I'm just, I okay. just need you to be patient. You know, you know that's okay. the thing. It's you know, it's it's like uh, you know, like buying a car. Say, you know, that's going to last me three years, and it doesn't. You know, you right. you, you put everything into it. You know, I, I I would I would just go with caution. If you're if you, look, you're very intuitive yourself. I know that. Yes. I can feel it. But yes. the thing is, yes. if if you're if you get to a point where you're like, wait a minute, something's just not right here, then you got to make the move. I can't tell you what to do, but so far okay. I've been pretty much on the mark, and it scares me when I when I I mean I've had <laughs> some of my no, and I'm not even into stocks and stuff, but I have some of my friends who will call me up. Well, what do, what should I do? And I'm like, run, 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 go to gold. <laughs> and they're like, really? And I'm like, run and. They made the good moves, I, I predict, because they still keep calling yeah. me, so, <laughs> yeah. you know. Well, thank you, Janet. So, thank you so you're much. You're so welcome. You're... Just go with caution, my dear. You know. Got it. But you're, okay. very intu- you're very intuitive, so you know with your gut. But sometimes we need that yeah. from somebody else, too, you know. That's right. That's exactly true. And, but I, I know. so and... much appreciate your reflection. Thank oh, you. Oh, no, no problem. And stay in touch, please. Let us know how you do. Oh, thank you. I will. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks, Marlon. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Right. Quick question. Yes. What's your thoughts on how the pound is going to be after the Brexit with the euro? I, I think, uh, uh, you know, it, it's scary. I mean, I am so... Uh, with, with, with the economy of what's going on in the world, it's almost like I feel like somebody's jumping in a river or a lake with, without a, a safety, you know, without um, um, like a safety catch. I just see so much rumbling underneath, and it, and it's scary because people are going to, it's almost like we're going to go back to the days of where, you know, and I hate to say it, but, you know, where the days were real bad, real bad. You know, where, where people would work for a loaf of bread. I mean, and I pray to God I'm wrong. But I have, you know, I, I, I discuss this with a lot of my, my, my healer and, and friends. And we all say, oh, my God, what's happening? So I think with a lot of prayer, you know, and like I say, I do believe in God. And everybody sticking together and helping the neighbor and paying it forward. We'll get through it. We'll get yeah. through it. You know, it just yep. it's a slow it's a slow thing. It's like like being twelve months pregnant when you should only be nine months. I don't know why I keep mentioning pregnancy. Oh. Jesus. 
<laughs> Don't be saying that in front of Debs at the moment. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my but, word. But, you know, it, it, it's it's scary. It's scary out there. It really is. Definitely. You know? it definitely. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right. Let yes. me go. Sorry, I was just trying to read the chat room as well. When I, okay. Uh, right. Anybody who wants to email in for the next show, you can email show at gmail.com. You just need to put your name and your telephone number so I know you're calling in, and then right. I can get you in first. That's all. Okay. Cool. Right, let's yeah. go to uh, Marilyn. Have we had Marilyn? No, I've had Marilyn. We did Marilyn. Marilyn. Yeah, Marilyn is the lady in the financial. I didn't mark it as done. Sorry, I apologize. Oh, you're well, slipping. Ellen, you hear this? Oh. She's slipping. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know. I've only got 11 days. <laughs> yes, I know. i got to catch up. i got to catch up. <laughs> right. So where are we up to now? Who we I've lost where I'm up to now, totally. Okay. Who we just had? Marilyn we had, didn't we? Marilyn. Marilyn Marilyn with the financial thing from Colorado. That's it. Right. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm sorry. How I was are you? Lost, lost exactly, totally where I was after all that. <laughs> she she heard the name <laughs> Ellen and she got confused. Not really, but you know. Uh, where are you from, Jennifer? Iowa. Where? Iowa. Middle Iowa. Of where the corn grows high, correct? I know you probably hear that every other day. Um, yeah. What's your birthday? Um, eight five. Oh, okay. August Strong little lady. And what's your question? So I've been making a lot of changes and Good. anticipating a lot of the changes, kind of coming to a head in about a year next summer. Okay. Um, at that point, I'd like to move either okay. um, out of Iowa or even I'm also an EU citizen. So moving somewhere in the EU, it's not out of the question. Um, okay. Just seeing what you pick up on that. Okay, well, I do. you being a Leo, you're very strong-willed. My oldest son's a Leo. And your birthday is a five. See, when I, when I connect with a person, I don't connect numerology. I do, but I don't. I connect more with their soul. And you being a five person, you're definitely a multitasker. You're in 100 places at once. Mm-hmm. You get bored real easy. I'm the 23rd, so I'm a five as well, okay? I do see uh-huh. new doors opening for you. Okay, I do feel new opportunities, but I do feel these opportunities. I want to go back 10 years, and I don't know why, but I, I feel like there were opportunities for you may, maybe 8, 10 years ago, and it was like, damn, you missed it. But now your your boat's coming in, honey. So I feel really, really good. I feel very, very safe. I feel happier days for you. Okay. Good. I just I just feel sometimes you get down in the dumps like we all do, but that doesn't make you mm-hmm. a bad person. Okay. Uh, are, you, are you in a relationship? Are you married, or you're single? Single. Okay. When was your last relationship? Because I do feel I do feel someone's going to be there for you if you choose to have this person in your life. Um, a long, long time, long years. Okay. Years. Okay, because I'm I'm definitely feeling a happier days for you. Now, I don't know if you like libraries or uh, bookstores or whatever, uh-huh. but, I, but I see you meeting someone, and, and, and you're going to get into, uh, might be a little younger, but, you know, I'm a cougar, so I like younger myself. Uh-huh. But um, I, I just feel like it's almost like the, you're going to meet someone who's literally on the same page as you are, and you're going to be like in shock because you have a, a very intricate mind and and you think way above you know above other issues in other words you're very dynamic but you you're very intense would this make sense at all to you yes oh okay i guess you could say i'm pretty right. unique mm-hmm. well yeah i like that word unique is good unique is good okay so the person you're going to meet it's almost like where did they come from? But I'm fe- but I'm feeling when I when when I see a glove, it tells me something is going to fit like a glove, and I feel safe and good about it. So I definitely feel very very comfortable about, good. about the whole change. So what do you do now? What kind of work do you do now? Are you a media? Do you, do um, you write or what? What do you do? 
No, I work in records and information management. <laughs> okay, and archives. Right. well that's yeah. So the library so there you thing go. make a lot of sense. Well, yeah, I but I see I see law around you as well. So I studied but, a little but, bit of that. Okay, but but it's but it's good, you know. In other words, it's basically um, new opportunities coming. I definitely pick up good, you know, positive happenings. But you need, you know, but you need to listen to your heart because okay. our heart sure. is is the umbilical cord to God. That's the way I look at it. And I see you happy. Now, do I meet? Good. Pardon me? Do you see this once? Do you see this happening once I make a move? A I'm, feel, move? I'm feeling it's probably in the works already. Because okay. this this goes back a while ago. You know, in other words, you mean like with this person. Yes, yes. I feel I definitely feel like this is someone that, that was in your life for a reason, and maybe just stepped away for another reason. But I'm comfortable. I feel very, very safe. You know, everybody has, huh. you know, their paths. Okay. But I feel safe. Well, I feel very safe. It's kind of strange. There was a person that I used to work with in law enforcement. Um, ah. Never quite got off the ground. I just couldn't cross that line with him. And a um, little bit of a player type. Um, yeah. But you like that. And, you, like, know, you love challenge, so do I. What was their uh, birthday? Do you, do you remember? Uh, do, you, do you remember? May May twenty fourth. Well, of course, um, Gemini. What as else? It has, yeah. Yeah. As it happens, someone that we used to work with and someone that related to be my marriage um, passed away this weekend. So there's a chance I may Ooh, be seeing him. Oh, you're giving me two. Yeah. See, there's no coincidences, and I'm I'm not seeing him in in a, involved right now as well. But the I'm thing not is, I don't that. think I'd want to be with them. Well, no matter how I much know. I wanted to, it's not what I really need. You know what I'm saying? No, look, my ex boyfriend uh, is Gemini, and my son. You know, they have that. You know, they're the good little boys and the bad little boys. You know, and they do like challenge. Yeah. But you know, maybe they change for the better. You just never know. Okay. But for some reason, I definitely feel connection there. Wouldn't that be funny if you went to the wake and he was there? Well, I mean, I'm almost I'm afraid to because it didn't be end afraid. well. The friendship. Huh? I'm sorry. So it didn't it didn't quite end. Well yeah, but you know what? That's why we have that's why we have white out in the races. <laughs> I broke up with my ex boyfriend four times already over thirty years. So it's, it's everything is tiny, yeah. and he's a Gemini. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know they always they always come back to a good person. So just l- look at it that way. Okay. Okay, Jennifer. Do you well, see thanks me for moving? calling in anyway. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank Let you. us know how you make out, okay, my dear? Great. Thank you. Okay. God bless. Okay. Bye bye. Cheers, Jennifer. Bye bye. Bye bye, honey. Right. Uh, where are we doing for time? Oh, we're okay. Right. Should we try and do one more, and then I sure. actually, I think we've done all the ones that have emailed in. Then hopefully. Good. Like, great. Well, it was emailed in before the show, let's think. I think, if I'm right, this is Akisha, I think. Akisha? Yes. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? You okay? Okay, yeah. That's a very pretty name. I like that. Where are you Thank from, you. my dear? I'm in Arizona. Ah, oh, is it hot there? I have a friend that lives over there. Yeah. Hotter than hell, right? Hot. I've, yeah, I've been hotter. to Tucson. And no, no. I always wanted to go to Sedona, but I never made it. Yeah, me either. I haven't made it yet. Um, well, you're right there, I, my dear. No, you Texas, need to know. Texas, is, I think, is hotter than Arizona. Yeah, I've been there as well. Arizona, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that, Texas is on fire. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah. So, uh, New yeah. York's not too so bad. So maybe, maybe Arizona's not hell, but it's like purgatory, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. Okay, bad joke. I don't know. I like Arizona. Okay. I like the energy. Yeah. There. Okay, yeah, so yeah. what's your birthday and what's your question, honey? My birthday one twenty nine seven seven, and I was think, talking. Uh, well, I was thinking about uh, getting a uh, job meeting. Do you see me find a job soon? You want? Are you looking for a job? You said. Yes. Okay. All right. Number one, what I feel around you is, if you decided to go into your own business, even in a partnership, and I'm not a big person in partnerships, I feel you'd be very, very successful. Okay. okay. You're a very smart person, 
Okay, you don't give yourself. Excuse me. Hold on one second. I gotta sneeze or cough or whatever. You're a very successful in your own path, but some days you just. It's almost like three steps forward, three steps back. Would that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I do feel. Um, I'm not worried about you working. I I feel like you have the security that you're going to get when you get that, you're going to be moving up very fast. What kind of work okay. do you want to do? Do you have any idea yet? Uh, would I want to go in business for it? No. It's like all these, it's little, little, little side jobs at the point, at this point. And in okay, a business well, job, I had to get some type of training in order to get into that, that area. So I'm trying to start at the smaller. Uh, that was trucking, like being uh, starting oh. a trucking business. Yeah, so I was gonna I go know. take put myself through. Um, yeah, I was gonna put myself, but that cost a couple of thousand, so I don't got enough money for that. Put yeah, myself but you know what? Don't ever say that because something's gonna come up to you. Okay. You have a good, you have a good, you have a good sense. You know, in some mm -hmm. of these places, they will hire you where you know you can work, you can work for them and work it out. Where you know you don't have to come up with all that all of that that money. Some of them will train you, and then you take it from there. So I definitely feel you're going to be very successful. And you're young yet. Okay. You have plenty of time ahead of you. Are you married? Right. No, no. You have someone in your life. Oh, no, yeah. no. All right, because I I keep feeling somebody is going to come into your life when you least expect it. You know, when you're like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't want none of that crap. But it's it's going to be good. And it has to do with work, so it's it's all good. I'm very comfortable with it. Maybe that partnership you're talking about that well, you don't want me to be in. <laughs> well, 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 you know, you see, what happens. <laughs> see what happens. Right. You know. See what happens. But let us, know. but let us know how you make out. You know, we're here. Now, okay, you know, we I have know. the new, we have the new time now. You know, it's it's later because mm -hmm. you know we figured it, it'd be you know maybe more people home from work or whatever you know. But but stay in touch. Oh yeah, three o'clock on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's a good time. Yeah. Okay, my dear. All okay, right. thank you very thank much for coming so in. Keep tuning right. in. Have a good day. Okay, I will. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Oh, so my word, we're down to the last 10 now. minutes, Janet. I know, my God, how fast, how fast, how fast, how fast. It's amazing, right. isn't Let's it? Uh, right, just tell everybody how they can get in touch with you if they want to read in after sure. the show as well. Sure. Okay. They can they can actually email me at rosebuds R O S E B U D S Janet at M S N dot com. Um, you can go to my website which is the which is the good website. It's a Janet Russell. <laughs> yeah, well the other Depending one is on how you feel. Uh, <laughs> the, the other one is not me, I promise you, I promise you. Or I'd be the oldest sucker out there, so I mean, you know, it's certainly not me. Somebody hacked my site. So, you know, I laugh about it, but, you know, I don't even – I went on it once. That was more than enough. The one time was, oh, my God. But anyway, my, my anyway, sorry. website <laughs> is Janet Russell, all lowercase, psychicspiritualmedium.com. My mailing address is Janet Russell, Post Office Box 311, Medford, M-E-D-F-O-R-D, New York, 11763. And if you want a phone session, I just got this thing called Zeal, Z-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. It's like a PayPal. It's where you would go on there, and I, I signed up for it, where you would go there and, you know, and the, I can accept payment, you know, and it goes right to, to my bank, which is ideal. I love it. So if anybody wants, you know, a, a, you know, a, a longer reading or, you know, or a continuous reading, you know, that's great. And, um I'm doing so many things. I'm going to be doing a, a thing at a wine tasting Thursday. It's going to be interesting. Then, um, of course, you know, I do my I do my LA Fitness. Not that I exercise, believe me. I do members only there. I'm too old to exercise, but I do like checking out the hot bars of the guys. I mean, you know, you know that I'll never I'll never I'll never give that up. Um, and let's see. And I'm at a kitten Um 
Uh, I'm there Tuesday from 11 to 1. She's got the nicest coffee cafe. She was on, uh, I think, a couple of weeks back we had Jennifer on. I'm at The Bean, which is a coffee house, and I'm there usually Wednesday and Friday. And then um, at another, oh, well, my new place is, is the the wine place. And, oh, my God, it's, it's vintage, and it's got all old vintage furniture. I love it. You walk in there, and you don't ever want to leave. So I, and that's, you know, I love that. And then I'm at another place out east called Gavin's Treasures. That's usually on the weekend. So seven days a week I'm working. I love it. But you know what? It keeps me mentally stable. If, if, if that would be the reason, I don't know anymore. Um, I meet a lot of interesting people. I do a lot of fundraisers. I'm an animal advocate. I love working, you know, or doing special needs. I love doing fundraisers for special needs or, you know, I like to pay it forward. And, oh, our, the, the best thing coming up is the new show with Marcos, with Marcos, Sue, and we're gonna he's going to be connecting as well as Sue with some yep. major stars and because he that's what he does he and we used to have a show called Media Magnets here in New York and we we did we did the TV show the cable show that I have so we just happened to start Gavin and I came up with this idea saying hey why don't we have him on because he's well known very very well known he has he's the editor of Digital uh, Journal and he, you you name it he he you know he. He connects with them. So uh, he's going to be coming on, I believe it's September, is it September 4th? Yeah, September 4th at 5 o'clock. And uh, Sue and, and Marcos will be, you know, interviewing. And then if they like, I'd love to give them like a little mini reading. So, hey, maybe Ellen DeGeneres will be calling. We never know. Uh-huh. So we got some really good things happening. I'm excited. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, so other than that, you know, it's it's all good. So now are we going to connect next week or or you're not sure yet? Uh, I'll have to see, Janet, if I can actually get okay. Wi-Fi where I am. Okay. Okay. If, I, if I can, we'll, we'll do that. So I'll let you know. Um, if not, we can do it um, either at the weekend when I'm back or we can do it the following Tuesday. Okay. Well, the, you know, the first Tuesday of the month, you know that I that I don't do that because I have to, I have to go into a different town. So, yeah. um, you know, and she, you know, yeah. I never know till the last minute. And I had asked her the other day, and she says September third. But we're going to be doing the show September fourth anyway. So, well, actually, it should be okay because I'm hoping I should be able to get Wi-Fi, so we should be all right for Tuesday. Okay. All right. All we'll being work well. around it. Okay. We'll work around it. Sure. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it'll be we good. are we it'll are coming close to the end of the, of the of the show. How fast that goes, doesn't it? Oh my God. Exactly. Exactly. So crazy. Yeah. Absolute crazy. So, so we had a fun show again. To, yeah. If anybody wants to do a reading for next week, if you've called in, sorry we've not got to you. We're accepting if people actually email the show first and then call in. So email asusho at gmail dot com. Right. Send your phone number and we'll have you in on next week. I think that's great. Yep. And I, li- also, I, li- I like that they email. That's real good, you know. Exactly, exactly. So, and then we've got, uh, I've got the obviously the call in. We've got a depression show tomorrow night, and I'm uh, on Shelley Hoffberg's show on Thursday. Yes. Uh, so we'll put yes. that on the Asu Radio Show page, and then obviously Media Magnets on the fourth of September. Yes, I can't wait. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun, fun. And Marcos is a sweetheart. You'll love him. You will yes, love him. Yep. He's a good It'll man. It'll be good. It'll yeah, I'm good. looking forward to it. Yeah. So yep. It's all good. All right, then, Janet. Well, thank you so much for calling into the thank show. You. It's been another good and fast one again. <laughs> yes, it always is. We have fun. You know, we're unfiltered. We have fun. And, you know, hey, why not? We all, we all have the same 24 hours, you know? We all exactly. only have the moment. All right, my That's dear. God right. bless. Enjoy your week. Right. And I know I'll be talking to you, you know, before next week. So. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. All, all right. right, then, Janet. Thanks for calling in. God Cheers bless. Of, Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 And by all means, everybody, uh, go to Facebook and find the Ask Sue radio show page. Uh, all of the links of the shows will be on there as well for upcoming shows. Uh, and also give me an email, asksueshow at gmail.com. Also, if you're a psychic and listening to the show, I am, I'm quite happy to have an email, and maybe we can get you on the show as well. And you can go also go to the website, asksue.co.uk. Thank you very much for listening to the show, and I will speak to you all very, very soon. Good night.